Hi everyone, I'm Maeve. Today we're gonna do some standy balancey kind of stuff by request. <laughs> I told you Cassie, I was gonna name it standy balancey. Standy balancey work is coming your way, but right now we're gonna ground ourselves. So have a seat comfortably. Ah, oh, allow yourself to arrive on your mat. And if it feels good, allow your eyes to soften or close. Take a moment just to be with yourself in this moment. Be with your breath, to be with your body, to even be with your thoughts. So I think we sometimes have this idea that we get on our mat, we're supposed to be like clear and present and enlightened. We come on our mat to do those things, right? And some days it works and some days it doesn't, but right now in this moment, allow yourself to be with your thoughts, notice them, maybe even follow a thought if it feels like it needs that amount of attention. I think that the more we practice this, <clears throat> the more we give ourselves the power to either follow that thought or to let it go or to let our mind go on a tangent or to decide to be here. And I'm not saying that one is the correct thing, right? We are here to start to kind of quiet and bring ourselves into like this equanimous state. But sometimes you need to follow the thought. I think of this as kind of like and I don't want to make it out like our thoughts are junk food, but like the ability to have the choice to eat junk food, if we sort of desensitize ourselves to like, oh my gosh, there it is. Like I grew up with no junk food. And then when I was able to eat it, I was like, <laughs> right? Like I had no self-control. So I think allowing ourselves a little bit of exposure to things, then we know like how we feel when we follow that thought that doesn't feel so good. We eat those hostess cupcakes that don't feel so good, we start to make better choices. Sorry, hostess. They know it's true, though. Inhale, reach the arms up. Good, I want you to spread your fingers a lot and then push your arms away from you. Push your hands away. And you're going to take the fingers down and up a few times here. Just kind of get the wrists moving and mine tend to crack a little bit when I do this and it feels so good but it takes a few passes for me to actually feel those cracks kind of kick in. And then we're going to rotate. So we're going to turn the hands in both directions, thereby turning the arms as well, not just the hands, but the whole arm turns. And then I want you to kind of Pull the fingers back toward the shoulders and then turn. And then stretch the fingers long and then turn. Good. And then just kind of circle the wrists around, circle the arms around, whatever feels good here. And then one arm up, one arm back. And then reverse. We're not taking the hands together, we're just going behind. As if we are going to go into Gomakasana arms, but we're not going to. And now my shoulders start to pop a little bit. And those are all, as long as the pops don't hurt my elbow, um, it's just like kind of like warming up the joints. For me, it feels so good to do that. You can make fists, you can stretch the fingers, whatever feels good. And then come around onto your hands and your knees. Really well done. And then from this nice, strong, stable, grounding foundation, inhale, heart, head, tail up. Exhale, push away. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale. 
couple more rounds on your own. Neutral spine, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Breath in. Exhale, right foot forward. Rise up to crescent. Exhale, hands down. Down dog. Breath in. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, right foot forward. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, down dog. Exhale, left foot forward. Rise up. Release down. Step back. Pause. Just receive that. Inhale, exhale, right foot forward, left knee down, front leg straightens, come forward, front leg straightens, inhale, exhale, two more. One more. Come forward, half moon. Look down at your right foot. Try to press into the big toe, the base of the big toe, the base of the pinky toe, the pinky toe, the center of the heel. So kind of creating like a triangle in your foot, the front of the foot, the center of the heel. And see if you can get your foot to face straight ahead. And then push into the right hand. Extend the left arm up. Reach the left leg away from your head. Reach your head away from your left foot. Good. Now, spread your toes as wide as you can and then push the ball of the foot away from your heart. And Malasana. Top of your mat. So if you have a hard time getting your heels down, yay, we're gonna pick our heels up. So you're gonna be in good company. Lift your heels up as high as you can. Last inhale, hands down, downward facing dog. Pause. Equal energy throughout your body. Share the experience throughout your body. If one part of your body feels like it's working harder, how can you make the part of your body that doesn't feel like it's doing very much do more. Breath in, left foot forward, exhale. Right knee down, straighten the front leg, and shift forward. And back, and forward. One more. And half moon. Down at your left foot. Big toe, base of big toe, pinky toe, base of pinky toe. Try to get all your toes down. The ball of the foot, the center of the heel, all equally pressing down. And your foot facing straight ahead. 
push into your left hand, reach the right hand up more. And then spread the toes of the top foot, reach the foot away from the head, the head away from the foot. Yes. Really nice. Malasana. Lift your heels. Try to press all your toes down. Notice if that pinky toe doesn't want to get involved. Try to get it involved. Allow it to get involved. And the shape of our feet kind of dictate a little bit of this nonsense, but whoo! It's going to be one of those days, by the way. I'm going to be falling over all over the place. I promise you this. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, hands into your heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway, hands to your shins. Exhale, bow back down. Rise, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bow. Halfway up, inhale. Fold down, exhale. Rise up, inhale. And hands to your heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow. Inhale, halfway. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands to heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Right knee lifts up. Exhale, push through warrior three to reach back with that right foot crescent lunge. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the ground. Plank, inhale. And then lower to your belly. Exhale. Tops of the feet down. Little baby cobra. Curl the chest up. Maybe even pick up the hands. Make sure your upper back, not just your upper back, but there's a nice sense of your back lifting you here, and then down dog. Breath in, exhale, right foot forward. Crescent, inhale, and then exhale, bow forward. Pass through warrior three, rise up, bring that left knee up. Wrap it over the right leg or just cross and come into eagle. So you can add the arms in or any variation on these arms. You can just bring the forearms together. You can cross the arms, give yourself a hug. Inhale, rise up. Left knee lifts up. Pass through warrior three, into crescent lunge, hands to the ground. Plank inhale, to your belly exhale. Baby cobra inhale, down dog exhale. Breath in, exhale, left foot steps forward. Inhale, 
crescent. Exhale, bow forward. Rise to warrior three to lift the right leg up and then cross or wrap and then left arm on top, right arm under. Gardasana. Inhale, right knee lifts up. Exhale, step back. Crescent, inhale. I forgot to go through warrior three, it's okay. Hands come down. Three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. Open your hips, bend the knee if it feels good. And if you'd like, flip over into wild. Come around, left hand down, left leg shoots through, and then see if you can float it off the ground. Maybe wrap it and find eagle legs. Nicely done. Right hand down, downward facing dog. Forward to plank, inhale, chaturanga or the floor. Up dog or cobra and down dog, exhale. Right leg back, inhale, right foot forward, exhale. Crescent lunge, inhale, come forward, warrior three. Bring the knee up, cross or wrap. Right arm on top, left arm under, eagle. Good. Now you're gonna unravel, right hand. It's gonna come down to your right shin. Slide it down, half moon. Malasana. Heels up. And then see if you can rise up to stand. Heels down, hands to heart. Beautiful. Inhale, reach up. Left knee lifts up. We're going to skip the warrior three because I forgot it on the other side. So take that leg back, but we'll add it back in in a moment. Crescent, inhale. And then hands down. Three-legged dog, inhale. Open the hip if it's nice, bend the knee, flip if you want. Come around, right hand to the ground. You have so much time, take your time. Pivot to the inside of the left foot and then see if you can extend this right leg out. Maybe float it off the ground. Maybe cross it and find eagle legs. Come around. Down dog. Glide forward plank, inhale. Chaturanga. Up dog or cobra. Down dog, exhale. Inhale, left leg back. Left foot forward, exhale. Crescent, inhale. Come through warrior three. Bring the knee up, cross or wrap. And then left on top, right under. We're gonna unravel, slide your left hand down your leg, find your shin, half moon.
Malasana. Heels up. Press all the way up. Heels down, hands to heart. Beautiful. Inhale, reach up. Right knee lifts up. Warrior three. Crescent lunge. <laughs> hands to the ground, exhale. Three-legged dog, inhale. Open the hips if it feels nice. Flip to wild thing if you like. Come back around. Left hand to the ground, right leg. Your, your foot pivots, left leg comes through or wraps. Eagle in the leg. Come around. Float the left leg back. Chaturanga. Place the foot. Rise open. Down dog, exhale. Right leg back, inhale. Right foot forward, exhale. Crescent, inhale. And then reach forward, warrior three. Knee up. Wrap or cross. Eagle again. Unravel, right hand slides down. Half moon, maybe chapasana. Whoo, malasana. Just in time. <laughs> Lift your heels. Rise up. Heels down. Hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Left knee comes up. Warrior three. Crescent, hands down, right leg to the sky, three-legged dog, wild thing, if you care to, or anything else that feels nice here. Come around, turn that left foot all the way to the inner arch, and then extend the leg, or wrap the legs. Come through plank, right leg floats, Chaturanga or the floor. Inhale, open. So good. Down dog, exhale. Left leg back, inhale. Left foot forward, exhale. Crescent, inhale. Warrior three. Knee lifts. Cross or wrap. Left arm on top, right arm under. We're gonna unravel, slide your left hand down your leg. Half moon, maybe chapasana. And malasana. Heels up. Press up to stand. Heels down, hands into your heart. Pause here. Enjoy a few breaths. Just feel your breath. My work mode came off. I need it on. I don't need any disturbances. Ah, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow forward. Inhale, halfway. Make your way to down dog, however you want. Inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, feet to your hands. Halfway inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands to your heart, exhale. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold. And your path to down dog. Soft, steady, even breath. Quality in the body. Inhale, heels high. Bend your knees, look forward, feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway. And fold, exhale. <clears throat> Excuse me. Inhale, rise. Hands to your heart, exhale. Notice the quality of your thoughts. Have you gone back to the junk food? Inhale, rise up. Feels good for a second, but not long run. Bow forward, exhale. Inhale, halfway. Chaturanga, or your path back. I'll meet you in down dog. Right leg back, inhale. Right foot comes forward, exhale. Back heel roots down. Reverse warrior, if it feels okay, lift the right heel up, sink deeply into that right hip. And then push the right heel down, straighten the leg, maybe lift the toes up and reach down for your foot. You might not get to your foot, and that's quite all right. And you could do this same thing with the foot without actually taking the toes. Hi, mister. And then rise. Back heel turns in a little bit. Skandasana. I hear my cat yelling at me. I don't see him. I swear I'm not just talking to myself. There you are. Hi, bud. Hey, baby. I was watching my cats the other day. Bend the front leg, come forward, left hand down, right hand up. Easy twist. And I was, little mister's tiny, and he is really um, thin. He's tiny and thin. I know. And Lulu is big, and she is not thin. They are equally as cute, by the way. Yes, you are. And I was thinking about how they really probably don't care what the other one looks like. That's a, that's a junk food thought, right? Like, not them, but like, that we compare ourselves to other people. Especially on something as silly as how we look. Maybe how we look in a pose. I highly doubt Little Mister is looking over at Lulu like, Wow, look how she sits like that with her leg over her head. I wish I could do that. It's actually the other way around, by the way. Little, you're very flexible. Bring your right hand down, straighten the front leg. But my point is, I don't think that animals are like envious of each other, right? Or compare themselves. Bend the front leg, put the back knee down, and then straighten the front leg. Get a little deeper in on that hammy.
You're going to soften the front knee just enough that you've got a little freedom to move this front leg, this right leg. You can kick your left foot a little over to the left side if you want. It's going to give you a little bit more stability. You're just going to swing the right leg back. So we're in Vashistasana with the bottom leg or the bottom knee down, I should say. And then if it feels good, we're just going to bend that knee. Think of this as like Chapasana. I'm bumping the wall, so I'm just going to be here. Release. Tuck the right toes. Sweep the left leg up, three-legged dog. Step the left foot forward. Root the back heel. Reverse warrior, maybe lift that front heel up. You wouldn't come up with me. You don't have to go, mister. Cut me here. He doesn't like standing poses. Hi, come here. And then root. Then if it's okay, pick up the toes. Press into that heel and then maybe take the toes with your hand, but maybe not. up and skandasana Come around. Right hand down. And then let's twist this. the hand, straighten the front leg. Use blocks here if needed. Hello? Hello? Soften the front knee, back knee down, and then get a little deeper. Soften the front knee enough to have some mobility here. You're gonna, if you want, kick the right foot a little over to the right and then sweep the left leg back. And then if you want, bend that top leg and then take the foot. Come around. 
left toes tuck, right leg stretches up and back, three-legged dog. Come really high into the left toes. Bend your left knee, look at your hands, hop your left at the top of your mat. Standing splits. Start to pull your gaze forward, bend your standing leg, your left leg, bring your right knee to your left calf, and then lift your heart up. And then try to pull your right foot up as high as you can. Yes, beautiful. Really nice. Come into chair. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway inhale. Back to down dog, however you want. Left leg back, inhale. High to the right toes. Bend the right knee, look at your hands, hop forward. Really nice, standing splits, melt down. Bring your knee to your calf. Jiva squat. Beautiful. Beautiful. Chair. And then sit down and lie back. So good. All right, bridge pose, press down and rise up. If you want, lace your hands behind your hips. You do not have to ever do that. Now, equal sensation throughout your body, throughout your spine especially. One more inhale, release it down. Pause and breathe. I think all my technology is about to die on me, so we're going to wrap this up. One more back bend. Bridge your up bow. I'm seeing messages up there. I'm having tech issues lately with battery life. Rookie. Last inhale. Release it down, exhale. So good. Take your feet wide, drop your knees into each other. Hmm. Enjoy your breath. Take your arms out to the sides. And then drop both of your knees to the right. Your feet can stay wide. I like this wide position, but you can adjust it however you need. And then over to the other side. back to center. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze or happy baby if that feels good. And then take a moment here. Decide how you would like to finish your practice. I'm going to come back up to sitting to kind of come full circle to where I started. If you want to lie down in Shavasana, I 100% encourage that. And then just give yourself enough attention to 
get yourself in a position where you feel that you can be without the junk food of thoughts coming into your brain. Okay, so sometimes when we're not physically comfortable, those thoughts start to invade our very being. So once you have kind of settled yourself, see if you can quiet your eyes. Quiet your body, your breath. And this time, instead of following those thoughts that might be begging for your attention, if they don't need your attention, can you choose now to move off them? And can you do that with grace and with kindness to yourself? for you to stay here for as long as you want, taking that same process if the thoughts try to come back. I'm going to sign off now, but you stay as long as you want, and I thank you for your practice. <laughs>